Have you binged watch well beyond the recommended daily dose of binge watching? Or perhaps your kids are off school now and you're wondering, what could I do with them that's different, fun, and engaging? Well, stay tuned. I have a couple of ideas for you. Hey YouTube Universe, I'm Paul with the Fiber Optic Store. Welcome to our special stay at home binge edition of our channel. So when you look at the timestamp of this video, you'll see it's April 2020 and we're living in very unusual times. Many of us are under a stay at home mandate. So in the realm of what do you do while you're stuck at home, I thought I'd put together a few suggestions. Suggestions that perhaps could help you enhance your binge. However, before we delve in, there's something that I would like to share. From those of us who are classified as non-essential to those of you who are essential, I'd like to extend a huge shout out of gratitude and appreciation. What you're doing, whatever it may be, plays into the equation so that we can all get through these times with some level of sanity and wellness. Thank you. So back to our quest. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you four unique ideas on how you could weave fiber optic filament into a particular binge. Now these ideas are kind of strange, a couple of them are a little quirky, but I want to give you an idea of having some fun with fiber optic filament. And then towards the end of the video, I will share with you details on how you can receive a 19% discount on any new fiber optic purchases. Let's get started. Here's our first stay at home and binge with fiber suggestion. Now, perhaps it's that model that's been sitting back in your workshop, maybe a car or a boat or a plane or a starship from either Star Wars or Star Trek that you know would just pop if you infused it with some fiber optic filament. Here are just a few examples of various models that are infused with fiber optic filament. These are just a few of the builds that have been shared with us by some of our customers, or as I like to refer to, super fiber fans. Raphael's Batmobile utilized some of our popular side glow fiber optic filament. While we're sharing only a couple of the photos from each model here on this montage, we'll be sure to include links in the description below to their full project page on our website. On there, you'll find additional photos along with some of the details surrounding their build. So in addition to sharing with you how you can weave fiber optic filament into your stay at home binge, we're also going to sprinkle some trivia into this very special binge edition. Because for some of us, playing trivia games is a binge in itself. Here's fiber binge edition trivia question number one. Which Star Wars character had a brief crossover cameo appearance in a Star Trek movie? And I mean super brief, as in, in the background, you'll miss it if you blink kind of brief. By the way, we have four additional trivia questions coming up, and we'll share all the answers to those at the end of the video. Alexa, which is better, Star Wars or Star Trek? I choose both. Can't we all just live long and prosper while the Force is with us? Oh, good grief. Let's move on. Here's Stay at Home and Binge with Fiber, suggestion number two. I don't know about you, but in my house, these little Lego bricks were always part of the landscape. And it wasn't uncommon to have serious binge sessions building the newest Lego creation. For this special stay at home and bins with fiber idea, perhaps you'll take inspiration from fiber customer John Peters. As you can see, John takes his colossal Lego Super Star Destroyer to the next level by incorporating single strand fiber optic filament into his build. And here's Fiber Binge Edition trivia question number two. 
What year did Lego make the first minifigure? To be clear, we're talking about the little guys with the movable arms and legs. Here's our stay at home and bins with fiber suggestion number three. Perhaps you have a talent or flair for the woodworking projects. What better stay-at-home bins than to work on a project with your son or daughter and weave in some fiber optic filament? Take some creative woodworking combined with a little ingenuity and some fiber optic filaments and you have the recipe for a very special one-of-a-kind project. By weaving fiber optic filament into his handcrafted, scratch-built jewelry box, Steve Flattery created this unique, one-of-a-kind treasure. Steve also created a wonderful YouTube video which documents his entire project. You can view Steve's full video on our site. It's awesome. He did a great job. Thanks, Steve. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below. Now, would you agree that jewelry boxes and music boxes are sort of related? I think so. Let's just say they're distant cousins. And with that in mind, we give you Fiber Binge Edition trivia question number three. In what country did the music box originate from? And in what year? How are you doing so far? Three Fiber Binges down, one to go. Here's your fourth and final Stay at Home and Binge with Fiber suggestion. Perhaps you'd like to embrace your binge watching and immortalize one of the props associated with that particular TV show or movie by weaving fiber optics into a very special trophy. That's exactly what fiber customer Kevin Kelly accomplished through his embellishment of The Leader's Nose. Fans of the Woody Allen film will recognize the uncanny resemblance between Kevin's scratch-built trophy and the actual prop that was used in the film. Not sure what we're talking about? Just go to YouTube and search Woody Allen, The Leader's Nose. Kevin actually built that unique nose for his brother, who was a huge Woody Allen fan. Which leads us to our fourth Bins with Fiber trivia question. Which Woody Allen movie featured The Leader's Nose? So there's our fourth and final suggestion as to how you can weave fiber optic filament into your various binges. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, for those of you who are looking to pick up some fiber optic filament, we're offering a very special 19% off discount. To receive your discount, during checkout, apply the coupon code STAY AT HOME in your shopping cart. This coupon code is all one word and is not case sensitive. Additional details surrounding the discount are in the description below and also on our website. What makes this particular discount extra special is that it's applied to your entire product order, including the already discounted hobby or project spool combo packs. One of the more popular options here at the Fiber Optics store are the hobby spool combo packs. Here we bundle together various combinations of different diameter filaments, offer them at different length options, and then apply a special combo pack price discount. We'll be sure to include a direct link to this popular option in the description below. So before we reveal the answers to the trivia questions, I have one additional bonus trivia question. While it has nothing to do with a project, it has everything to do with one of my favorite binge shows that I'm currently immersed in and this gold chain that perhaps you've noticed around my neck. Now, my friends and peeps who know me would tell you that while Paul's had this gold necklace for many, many years, he never wears it on the outside of his clothes. What's up? He usually wears it tucked in. You don't see it. With that in mind, here's trivia question number five. In which popular crime drama series did three of the main characters regularly wear their gold chains on the outside of their shirts? So here are the answers to our five binge edition trivia questions. The Star Wars character with the brief cameo in a Star Trek movie? That would be R2-D2, Star Trek's Into Darkness. 
The LEGO figure first made their appearance in 1978. The music box originated in Switzerland right around 1770. The Woody Allen movie that featured the leader's nose? Well, of course, that would be Sleeper, 1973. And the drama series with the main characters sporting gold chains on the outside? That would be Showtime's Ray Donovan. Well, how'd you do? Did you get all five? Let us know in the comments below. And I hope that this special edition has given you some ideas on how you can weave fiber optic filament into some of your binges. If you'd like to binge one of our other videos, I'll be sure to include a link to our first video in the description below. And if you're interested in learning more about fiber optic filaments, then I'd encourage you to subscribe to our channel and be sure to turn on that notification bell. We have a number of videos that are currently in post-production and in the queue that we're going to roll out as soon as we can. Thanks for hanging out and binging with us for the past few minutes. We appreciate it. Stay safe and be well. We got this. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.